Hello, guys. Well, um, I'm going to continue with the unit number five, okay, about the first civilization. In the, in the last video, we were talking about Mesopotamia, okay, if you remember. And uh, you, as you know, uh, this area is all around the Tigris and Euphrates River, okay? We were talking about the origins of writing, which is something really important, okay? And the first libraries, etc., okay? So now we are going to start with the second civilization, okay? This is also a fluvial civilization. So this began next to the river, to a big river, in this case, the Nile River, okay? Egypt. As you already know, um, Egypt is a country, uh, nowadays is more or less like in this way, um, that is situated in the north east of Africa. Okay, and particularly around the Nile River, as you can see here, okay, next to the Mediterranean Sea in the north. And in the east, next to the Red Sea, okay? We are talking about uh, geography of this area uh, in class, okay? So remember it. Well, what happened with Egypt? All of you know something about Egypt because it's one of the most important cultures of the antiquity, okay? Um, I All of you can say things about this civilization. All of you know or have images in your mind of uh, temples and um, I don't know the process of mummification uh, the pharaoh okay all these images you have in mind okay well in fact it was a really developed culture okay in 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 all the um, uh, in all the topics, okay, for example, uh, they develop literature, but also science, uh, music, uh, I don't know, in, in an artistic way, okay, so it's, it's something really important to understand this culture, even if we are going to study it, um, well, in a very simple way, okay, well, Something essential is the Nile River, because of the agriculture, which is the basis of the economy at this time. Even if in uh, Egypt there are also a development of trade, okay, el comercio, etc. Uh, but there is a, a figure, a character, which is essential in Egypt, and this is the pharaoh. Vale, el faraón. Okay, um, why is important the pharaoh? Because, uh, for example, we have a study in the city states in Mesopotamia that there are absolute kings. Okay, in this case, the pharaoh is more or less similar to a king. Okay, um, they also have absolute power. Okay, but also he is the messenger between God and the earth, okay? Remember that in Egypt, there are a lot of gods. So he is uh, the guy which is in the middle between God, or all the gods, and people, common people, okay? Um, so, well, finally, uh, the pharaoh will be treated like a god, okay? As you can see here, he, he was worshipped by his people, es decir, va a ser adorado como un dios, ¿Vale? Considerado casi un dios. Well, there is a lot of pharaohs, and you don't have to remember all of them, but it, it could be uh, interesting that you remember some names, okay? The first one is Nar Narmer. Narmer was the first pharaoh, okay? And the first pharaoh because he is the first king that unified, as you can see here in the map, Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt, okay? Lower Egypt is the region which is closer to the Mediterranean Sea, okay? Where finished the Nile River. Nile River finished here in the Mediterranean Sea, okay? The other region of Egypt is the Upper Egypt, es decir, 
um, el que está más alejado de la costa, más arriba, ¿ok? Because it's closer to the beginning of the Nile, ¿ok? Which is here. Uh, he was the first king that unified all this territory and create for the first time the whole empire of Egypt, ¿ok? Uh, this unification is symbolized here, in this image, in the crown, en la corona, ¿vale? De este, de este faraón. Because there is a double crown. Una doble corona, ¿ok? This is one of them. And I will use another color. This is the other one, ¿ok? And this crown symbolizes um, lower Egypt and upper Egypt, ¿ok? Well... Uh, so, Narmer is the first pharaoh in the history of Egypt. And the last pharaoh is a woman or was a woman, okay? That all of you know very well, which is Cleopatra, okay? The final pharaoh. And between these two periods, there is a lot of centuries, okay? It's a very long history. So, please remember these names, okay? We continue talking about um, society in Egypt, okay? As you can see here, this is a hierarchical society and we have already studied what does it mean. This is a representation of a hierarchical society. It's a pyramidal society, okay? In, in, with the form or the shape of a pyramid, okay? Always less people on the top, but with more money and power, a lot of people at the bottom, but with less power and money, okay? Well, just on the top, you have the pharaoh. Remember, an absolute power, okay? He is uh, like a god, so it's just on the top. Around the pharaoh, there are a lot of uh, people that work in Dallas and, 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 and they are... High officials, okay? All these guys here. High officials, all the court that uh, help and uh, go with the pharaoh, okay? You can see, for example, this image, okay? This is probably a high official with uh, his wife, okay? And they are uh, wealthy people. You can see it before because they have, both of them have jewelry, Okay, because of the hair, okay, because of the clothes, etc. So they are wealthy people, okay. Then there are another uh, character which is very important and is the scribe, okay. The scribes uh, are the officials that write things because not everyone know how to write at this time, okay. So scribes are really important. Uh, Then we have here, uh, we continue here with the soldiers, <laughs> uh, military people, okay? And um, they obviously work in the war, okay? They defend Egypt in case of war. And also they conquer territories and they obtain slaves, okay? Uh, usually uh, when someone, uh, well, are defeated in a war, you can become a slave, okay? Well, then, in the next stage, you can find artisans, traders, okay? People that um, make money, but they are not so wealthy, okay? Common people. And finally, as you can see here, the 90% of population, so it's just the majority of population in Egypt, are peasants, okay? Um, peasants mean agricultores, okay? Here you can see an example of people working in agriculture. Um, in this image, you can see a lot of people working in different, in different things, but in general, they are artisans, okay? This guy is a sculpted... Uh, a ver, me he puesto la goma de borrar y no lo puedo poner, ¿vale? Uh, this is a sculpture, okay, uh, oh, he is painting something, etc., okay, and, and, and I think that this guy is painting also in the wall or, or cleaning something, okay, 
so workers. Um, finally, the base of this society are the slaves. You can see the slaves in this image, okay? Slaves are people without any right, okay? Uh, they are not free. They are like objects, okay? And, and, and they are the possession of someone, okay? Uh, obviously, they are going to work in the hardest jobs, okay? Los trabajos más difíciles. For example, here, they are uh, building things, pyramids, ¿vale? Uh, and you can understand that they are slaves because they don't have clothes, okay? And, and, and they don't have... Um, It's not hair. Son pelucas, ¿vale? Normalmente los egipcios llevan pelucas, que ahora mismo no me salen en inglés. Uh, so, well, you can, you can understand in this image that they are slaves, okay? Finally, um, I want to talk about two things, okay? Religion and writing. Uh, as you already know, writing appear in 3,000 Uh, 500 before Christ in Mesopotamia, especially Sumeria, okay? And there were a cuneiform writing. In Egypt, they don't use cuneiform writing, but hieroglyphic writing, okay? Uh, hieroglyphic, all these things that you can see in this image, okay? Por ejemplo, aquí toda esta zona se ve muy bien, okay? Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs are uh, pictograms, okay? They draw things, and these things, that this, these uh, drawings mean something, okay? So when they mix different drawings, finally, they are expressing uh, uh, some ideas, okay? Um, where they use this uh, writing, okay? They can use it in the walls, as you can see here. They can paint it, for example. But also, they write usually on papyrus. Oh, no sé cómo he movido esto. Bueno. They write on papyrus, okay? Uh, which is a, a, a type of... It's not a paper, but it's something similar. And um, they obtain the papyrus from, um, from the plants, okay? Obviously, in the papyrus, they write everything. They write things about trade, okay, and business, but also about religion, uh, uh, history, literature. There are novels and, and about uh, of this period, okay, uh, literature, fiction, etc. So, well, uh, papyrus and hieroglyphic writing helped to develop a lot the culture in Egypt, okay? Another thing is religion. The religion is in Egypt is something uh, essential, okay? The life is uh, ruled by the religion. And uh, they were polytheistic, okay? What means that? Polytheism. El sustantivo abstracto. El politeísmo. <clears throat> that means that they believe in a lot of gods, okay? For example, the sun, which is Horus, okay? Uh, and there are a lot of them. And we will talk about it a little bit in class, okay? Um, inside uh, religion, they believe especially in death, Okay? El tema de la muerte. Death is essential also in Egypt. Why? Because they believe in afterlife. They think that after death, there is another life. And this life is really important. And they have to preserve their bodies, okay? Um, because they are going to live again. So they need their bodies, okay? This is why they practice mummification, Okay. Todos sabemos lo que es momificar aquí en este dibujo, se ve bastante bien, es un poco macabro. Como está aquí, eh, pues el, el, el difunto eh, sacan sus órganos, los van metiendo en este tipo de vasos, luego el difunto será rodeado o cubierto por, por vendas, se momifica, etc. ¿Vale? Well, so the, the people that dead. After death, they have to start a journey, a very long journey, uh, to go with the gods, okay? And, and, and this 
this is very, very important for them, okay? In order to preserve their mummies, they create tombs, okay? Tombs that could be more simple or, wow, very, very, um, I don't know, fashionable when they uh, build pyramids, okay? Um, and, well, they, they, they are um, hiding in these pyramids, uh, obviously, in this case, are pharaohs with their mummies and are surrounded by a lot of things, okay? Jewelry, but also boats, um, I don't know, furniture, uh, uh, I don't know, food, a lot of things, okay? So these are more or less the main ideas about Egypt. Okay, uh, very, very simple, but I hope that you understand in general and that were clear for you, okay? So thank you very much for listening and we will continue in class. Bye-bye.